Obviously, it's been a great week. Um, got to see some incredible things here in Birmingham. The bowl festivities have been first class. Um, and we're excited about the game. Have a great opponent in South Florida who had a tremendous year. I'd like to congratulate them on their year. And uh, we're looking forward to a heck of a ball game tomorrow. Um, you know, we've had a great week. Done some incredible things. The Children's Hospital, the Civil Rights Museum. Um, Things that are very moving, touching, great for our team to see. And now it's, it's lock in and focus on, on trying to win a football game. Um, and our, our team's done a good job all week of being focused and had really good practices. It did. It rained. And uh, so we got some use of the wet ball, throwing it around. And our guys have handled that well all year in practice. And we've done such things. So uh, I'm sure we'll get some weather tomorrow. And hopefully we can handle it accordingly. Has that been somewhat of a motivation for you to keep going, keep pressing? Absolutely. Um, every day, there's not a single day I don't think about him. And uh, um, all I want to do every single day is make sure I continue his legacy. I don't want anyone to remember or forget who he was. And I do that by working hard every day, uh, doing everything I can for my teammates, uh, for my brothers out there on the field, and especially for my wife and for all my family, my brothers. We're best friends. Um, we came in together that first summer and we're workout partners and um, kind of found a love for working out and the whole process of training and um, we just grew that summer together and um, I consider him one of the major blessings in my life uh, just coming to Tech and not knowing anyone traveling to West Texas and um, God putting him a person like him in my life and uh, you know he's just the type of person that makes everyone around him better um, no matter who he comes in contact with, he's always positive, um, can put a smile on anyone's face. And like I said, he's a major blessing in my life, um, but we've been through some of the best times and some of the worst times. Um, that was me during that whole process. I just tried to be there for him no matter what time, no matter when, um, any time. I just wanted to be there. Um, you know, I never, I haven't been through a lot of experiences like that. Um, thankfully, uh, but just being there for him, there's not a whole lot of things you can say in those situations, but just being there um, as a friend and as a brother, uh, that's all I can do, and um, that's what he's going to remember, and so, but we definitely uh, grew very much with each other and, and became so much closer than we already were, but um, like I said, he's one of the, the blessings of my life. Yeah, I think um, anytime you see someone else go through that, you understand. Um, how tough it is, and just knowing Taylor, and um, I mean that STEMS program he's in is nobody gets in that when they're still in college. It's just phenomenal, um, the type of young man he is. I mean I know his dad's very proud of him and always accomplished. And like he said, every day he he lives to uh, um, you know show off that legacy, how he's raised, and, and make his dad proud. And he does that every day. You said also that you wanted to be a coach and couldn't see yourself not being involved in football going forward. What coach do you feel like you uh, might become most like of all the coaches that you've been exposed to? Or who, who do you feel like you might take? What, what's a coach who has said something or his kind of actions kind of resonate with how you would like to coach? Yeah, I mean, this guy right here uh, is a perfect example. Um, just the way, you know, he leads his team and um, his staff and – how humble he is. That's one thing that I try to I always try to stay humble no matter what and um, just be a good person. Um, that's one thing he stresses to us and our whole staff stresses to us is just being good people. Um, just being nice, um, you know, not never think you're above anyone. Um, I've seen him walking through us walking through the airport and he'll take pictures and talk to every single person that wants to, um, even if he may, may not want to at the time, but he's going to take the time just because you never know how you're going to impact someone. I'm just saying a few words to a little kid. You never know that can go a long way and uh, have a huge impact on their life. So, uh, like I said, he's a great example. Just uh, being a good person and um, leading the right way.